Hello friends, this video on matrices part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Now we will study equality of matrix. Two matrices, matrix A and matrix B are said to be equal if they are of same order and each elements of A is equal to corresponding element of B. Let's understand what does it mean. Logically also if you see, I am comparing two people like person 1 and I am saying person 1 is equal to person 2 I mean to say the height of the person 1 is equal to height of the person 2 age is equal to age of person 1 is equal to age of person 2 everything has to be equal I can't say a boy is equal to girl. I, I, can, I can compare only two boys or I can compare only two girls. Here also when you want to compare two matrices the order should be same. For example if I have one matrix of order 2 is to 2 let's suppose so this the other matrix which is equal this is matrix A this is matrix B this also has to be exactly same. So this is 2 is to 2, this matrix also has to be 2 is to 2. I can't say example 1, 3, 5, 6, this is 2 is to 2 matrix and it suppose this is 1, 3, 3, 5, 6, 7. Even if these elements are same, this element and the whole element is same, both the matrix are not same because it has some extra element. So when I'm saying both the elements are same, the first thing is the order has to be same. If order is same, then the second thing we have to check is the corresponding elements are same or not. For example, this is A11, same. A12, same. This is 21, same. This is A22, same. Correct. Please note. The first thing, if you want to compare two matrices, if you want to show that two matrices are equal, then the first thing that it has to adhere to is that the order of both the matrices has to be same. That is, the number of rows and columns has to be same in both the matrices. And the second thing is, the corresponding element of each of these matrices has to be equal. For example, if I have this element set A, which has the element of form AI, for example, is A11, A12, A13, that form, and this is still, let's suppose, A, uh, M1, AM2, AMN form. There's another set B, which has the element of this form, B11. B12, B13, B1N and in this we go down here, this is of this form BM1, BM2 till BMN. So I am saying that the sets are equal, that in that case order is same because here it is M into N order, here also it is M into N order plus the corresponding element has to be same that is A11 has to be equal to B11 A12 has to be equal to B12 A13 has to be equal to B13 and so on all the elements corresponding elements has to be same let's take some example we have to find the value of x y and z given that these two matrices are equal so just by comparing we can say that x is equal to 1 because the order is same 2 is to 2 and they are equal so this is same if you see y y corresponding element is 4 and for z the corresponding element is 3 just by observing we can say that x is equal to 1 y is equal to 4 and z is equal to and that is my answer. Very simple. Just by observation, we saw that since the sets are equal, sorry, since the matrices are equal, 
the corresponding element has to be equal. So x has to be equal to 1. If you see, 5 is equal to 5. The corresponding element 5 is equal to element 5. That is how it is. The corresponding element has to be same. Let's take one example. We have to find the value of x, y, and z given that these two matrices are same. Now again, since the matrices are same, the corresponding elements are equal. So I can say that x plus y is equal to 6. That is my first equation. 2 is equal to 2. I can't find anything in this. 5 plus z is equal to 5. This is my second equation. And the third is x, y is equal to a. I'm just comparing elements. So this is my first, this is my second, and this is my third. I got three equations. This equation itself says that z is equal to 0. Why? 5, 5 cancel. If z is equal to 0, my first part is done. I have found the value of z. Now I have to find the value of x and y given x plus y is equal to 6 and x, y is equal to 8. Now as you can see x plus y is equal to 6 and x, y is equal to 8. I have two equations, two variables I can solve it. I can solve using quadratic equation also by putting x equal to y, 8 by y and all. But logically if you see it's very simple. x into y is 8 that is x into y 4 into 2 suits this value and 4 plus 2 is 6 also. So I can say that x is equal to 4, y is equal to 2. Or I can say that x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4. Both this value suits the equation. In both the case, 4 plus 2 is 6, 4 into 2 is 8, here 2 plus 4 is 6 and 2 into 4 is 8. So that means there are two sets of answer. First is x, y, z is x is 4, 2 and z is 0. The second set which I get is x is 2, y is 4 and z is 0. And that is my answer. So very simple, we just equated the corresponding elements of these matrices as they were equal. We will take one more example. Same thing here. Both the matrices are equal. Now, here what you see we can form this equation x plus y plus z is equal to 9. Why? This is equal to this. x plus z is equal to 5. Why? This is equal to this. And y plus z is equal to 7. Why? Because y plus z and 7 are corresponding elements. Now if you take uh, these two equations, first and second, let's go this is first, this is second, and this is third. If I take first and second, if you subtract this, I can get the value of y. So what we'll get? Uh, let me show you like this: x plus y plus z is equal to nine. X plus this is zero plus z is equal to five. If you subtract this, this is gone, this is gone. You get y is equal to nine minus five. That is true. So I got the value of y. y is equal to 4. Now the value of y, I can put the value of y in this equation. I get y plus z is equal to 7 or I can say 4 plus z is equal to 7 or I get z is equal to 7 minus 4 that is. So I got the value of z also, I got the value of y also. Now I, got to, I want to find the value of x. I can put it in any equation. So let me put in the first equation only x plus y plus z is equal to 9 or x plus y is equal to 4, z is equal to 3 is equal to 9 or x is equal to 9 minus 7 that is 2. So I got the value of x, y, z as x is 2, y is 4 and z is 3. In this example, we have to find the value of a, b, c, and d. Both are equal. Both the matrices are equal. So we can say that a minus b is equal to minus 1, 2a minus b is equal to 0, 2a plus c is equal to 5, and 3c plus d is equal to 13. 
Thus, we'll get four equations. We can find the value of A, B, C, and D. Let's try this. A minus B is equal to minus 1. 2A minus B is equal to 0. 2A plus C is equal to 5. And 3C plus D is equal to 5. This is my equation 1. Equation 2, equation 3, and equation 4. So, we take equation 1 and 2, we can find the value of a and b. So, let's do that. a minus b is equal to minus 1, 2a minus b is equal to 0. We subtract these two, this from this, so you get 2a minus a is equal to a, this becomes 0, is equal to 0 minus 1, 0 minus minus 1 is equal to 1. So, a is equal to 1. So once I get A is equal to 1, I can get B from this equation. That is A is equal to A minus B is equal to minus 1. Or A is equal to 1 minus B is equal to minus 1. Or I get B is equal to 2. So I've got A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2. I have A and B. I can get C very easily. I put A here, I get C here. So the quotient equation is 2a plus c is equal to 5, a is equal to 1, so 2 into 1 plus c is equal to 5, or I get c is equal to 3. Thus I got c is equal to 3. To find d, I'll put the value of c in this equation, fourth equation, I'll get 3c plus d is equal to 30, or 3 into c that is 3 plus d is equal to 30 d is equal to 13 minus 9, that is 4. So I got d is equal to 4 also. Very simple. Two equal matrices, just equated that and got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.